So for those of you who don't know, I'm making a game. And one of the things that has been absolutely vital is the Kuahara filter. Now I'm definitely not going in depth about this and how it works and stuff like that, but it basically makes the game look painted. It also is super easy to set up. While I was looking at tutorials for this, I found nothing but dead ends with broken download links or super complex code that can be frustrating for beginners. So here's the easiest way to set it up. I had to figure this out for myself, so I don't know if this is the most efficient way, but it is a way to do it, basically. Go to the description of this video and click the link. Once there, navigate to the top of the page. Click Download Materials. Now unzip the file. Then click on the folder called Paint Filter Complete. Find the files global.usf and kuahara.usf. Now open the Unreal Projects uh, folder on your computer. I don't know if it's like this for every computer uh, because I'm on a Mac, but for me it's called Unreal Projects and it's basically like where all your projects are stored. Now click the name on whatever project you're gonna put this in. In Files, open your Unreal Projects folder. Click on your project, then go to the Instances folder, then Shader Autogen, and then open that and then drop the two USF files in there. Next, open the file folder you downloaded. Next, move Paint Filter Completed, just drop it into the Content folder of whatever project you're using. Open the project and find the shaders. In the blueprint for the shaders, click on Kuahara. Change the code to this. Then do the same on the global node. What this is doing is basically telling the computer where to find the files. That's all you really need to change with this download, and I'm kind of just fixing it because in the original download, it wouldn't work at all. Now to use the filter, all you have to do is go to Post Process Volume, navigate to the Post Process Materials and add an array. Choose Asset Reference and drop the PPI shader into the slot. If the PPI shader isn't working, just make the parent of the PPI to the Post Process shader and you should be good to go. You can adjust the settings at the very top of the PPI shader to the size of the little paint circles to whatever you like. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you didn't like the video or if something is going wrong with your project, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do to help. But other than that, thanks for watching.